When we talk about chaos, it's often in reference to things that seem messy or random, like the rowdy behavior of kids on a bus ride home from a field trip. But for scientists, chaos means something specific. It describes a system that isn't entirely random, but is still very hard to predict. This idea has sparked a whole field of study known as chaos theory. Imagine trying to predict the exact path a butterfly will take as it flaps its wings. It might seem impossible, but chaos theory helps us understand why some things, despite following rules, can still seem unpredictable. Let's get started. Like a ball rolling down a hill, it's easy to figure out how things will happen at the start. You just need to know some things like how heavy the ball is and how steep the hill is. Then you can guess how fast and how far the ball will roll. But when things get chaotic, it's not so easy. Imagine if you changed just a tiny thing about the ball or the hill. Maybe you made the ball a little heavier or the hill a little steeper. Even small changes like these could make a big difference in what happens later on. That's the tricky part about chaotic systems. They're super sensitive to even the smallest changes in the beginning. Think about weather forecasting. Ever noticed how sometimes the weather predictions are totally off? That's because weather is a classic example of a chaotic system. Tiny changes in things like temperature or air pressure can lead to big changes in the weather later on. Chaos theory is like trying to find order in things that seem all over the place. It's used to understand patterns in systems that look messy at first. These systems can be anything from the weather to how the stock market works. Simply put, chaos theory helps us make sense of complex systems that seem chaotic. Even though chaos theory has been around since the 1800s, it really took off when computers got better. With advanced computers, scientists could study how things like weather and fluids move in detail. These things might seem simple, but even a tiny change in where they start can lead to big differences in what happens next. The first big test of chaos theory happened in 1960. A weather scientist named Edward Lorenz was trying to predict the weather. He had some equations that he thought could help. One day in 1961, Lorenz wanted to redo a weather prediction from earlier. But instead of starting from the beginning, he jumped in halfway. And instead of using all the numbers, he only used three decimal places. This might not seem like a big deal, but it changed everything. What Lorenz found was surprising. Even though he only changed a tiny bit, the new prediction was totally different from the original one. It showed that small things can make a huge difference. Chaos theory is all about exploring how small changes can affect things that don't seem related at all. Think of it like this. Imagine you're playing Jenga. You carefully remove one block, thinking it won't make much of a difference. But then the whole tower comes crashing down. Chaos theory helps us understand why that happens. It's not just about Jenga towers, though. It's about how our world works, from the tiniest atoms to the biggest weather systems. Chaos theory is all about the butterfly effect. That means small changes at the beginning can lead to big changes later on. It's like when you drop a pebble into a pond and watch the ripples spread out. You might think that if you drop the same pebble in the same way, the ripples will always look the same. But chaos theory says that's not true. Even tiny differences in how you drop the pebble can make the ripples spread out differently. This idea is important in math. When we make models of things like weather or the stock market, we have to start with some initial conditions. These are like the starting ingredients in a recipe. But chaos theory tells us that even if we have almost the same starting ingredients, the outcome can be totally different. It's like trying to bake cookies, but because you measured the ingredients slightly differently, you end up with cake instead. Chaos, though tricky to predict, isn't impossible to understand. When we look at chaotic systems from the outside, they seem random and hard to figure out. Yet, despite their unpredictability, chaotic systems still follow the same basic rules as simpler ones. Even though they're very sensitive to their starting conditions, they move or change in a pattern, almost like clockwork. This means that if we can measure those starting conditions accurately enough, we can often predict what will happen next. Scientists use a method called studying strange attractors to predict chaotic systems. These strange attractors are like hidden forces that control how chaotic systems behave. Imagine these attractors as swirling ribbons pulling things in, like wind blowing leaves around. Just as leaves are drawn to where the wind takes them, chaotic systems are drawn to their attractors. Think of a rubber ducky floating in the ocean. It will always drift towards the surface, its attractor, regardless of waves, wind or birds disturbing it. 
Understanding the shape and position of these attractors helps scientists forecast the movements of things within chaotic systems, such as storm clouds. Chaos theory isn't just about weather and climate, it can explain many other things too. For example, it helps us understand irregular heartbeats and how star clusters move. In our everyday lives, chaos is everywhere. It's in the traffic jams that seem to appear out of nowhere, in the way birds flock together in the sky, and even in the beating of our own hearts. Yet, even within this chaos, there's order. By uncovering the hidden patterns and forces at work, scientists can gain insights into processes that once seemed completely random. One place where this theory is talked about a lot is in finance, especially when it comes to the stock market. The stock market can be a wild place, with prices going up and down all the time, and it's hard for people to predict what will happen next. Some people who like chaos theory think that when it comes to stocks, the price you see is the very last thing to change. This means that even when everything seems calm, there might be trouble brewing underneath. Imagine if you're in a boat on a lake and the water looks smooth on the surface, but there are strong currents underneath that could tip your boat over at any moment. This idea suggests that just because prices aren't jumping around, it doesn't mean everything is okay in the stock market. Think about those big crashes in the stock market, like the one in 2008. A lot of people didn't see it coming until it was too late. But some investors, they seem to have a knack for spotting trouble before it hits. They're like detectives, looking for clues in all sorts of places, not just at the prices of stocks. They're trying to find out if there are weak in the system that most people haven't noticed yet. But here's the thing. Some folks use chaos theory as an excuse not to invest at all. They say, well, if we can't predict what's going to happen, why bother? But that's not quite right. Even though it's hard to know what will happen in the short term, history shows that over a long time, the stock market tends to go up. So it's still a good idea to invest in companies that have strong foundations and are likely to grow in the long run. In finance, the fractal market hypothesis is a fancy idea that uses parts of chaos theory to guess when the stock market might go up or down. It's like looking at a puzzle made of chaos to see if there's a pattern hiding in there. This idea builds on another one called the efficient market hypothesis, which says that prices in the stock market jump around randomly. The fractal market hypothesis says that when things are really uncertain, the prices of stocks might behave similarly when you look at them over different lengths of time. It's like seeing the same wiggly lines on a graph, no matter how close or far you zoom in. People who study this stuff might use it to try and guess where stock prices will go next by looking for patterns that keep popping up. Chaos theory offers a fascinating lens through which to understand complex systems like the stock market. Its application in finance, particularly through the fractal market hypothesis, highlights the potential for finding order amidst apparent randomness. If you enjoyed this exploration into chaos theory, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content on science, philosophy, and beyond.